Hello dear goingkans hope you are all well Today's listening comprehension is about the sky at night Have you ever wondered about the stars which you see in the sky on a clear night Do you know the names of any of them Look and see if you can find stars arranged as in this picture The group of 7 stars is called the great bear You will not always find it in the same place but it is quite easy to locate It is also called the wagon and horses or the plow The great bear is easy to find and it also helps us to find the north star The two stars on the right of the great bear are called the pointers because they point to the north star which is also called the pole star Once you found the great bear it's easy to find the pole star you must measure in your mind the distance between the pointers then look 3 or 4 times as far along the same line and you will see the north star the drawing will show you which way to look there are a few other stars close to it but the north star is brighter than they are so you will find it easily now when you look at the north star you are facing north the north star is very useful to sailors and travelers because at night when there is no sun to guide them it helps them to find their way on sea or land the stars look brightest when there is no moon have you ever noticed that a strong light overshadows a weak light so that you hardly see it a street lamp that looks so bright at night is hardly noticed if it is lie left burning in the daytime it is just the same with stars and moon when the moon shines brightly its silvery light makes the stars look dim unlike the stars the moon is not always to be seen even on a cloudless night sometimes it's absent sometimes we see the whole of it and at other times we see only a part of it the new moon is first seen in the western sky shortly after sunset as a thin crescent which sets soon after the sun the next night the crescent is a little bigger and it stays rather longer in the sky night by night it grows until we see the beautiful full moon shining down on us with its quiet peaceful light the night after night the moon gets smaller and smaller and at last we have no more than a tiny crescent in the sky perhaps you have not seen the old moon for it rises very late long after you have gone to bed we say the moon is waxing when it's growing from new moon to full moon and waning as it changes from full moon to the old moon Sometimes when you look at the moon on a clear night you can see markings on it which some people call the man in the moon The moon is not so far away from the earth as the sun is but the distance is enormous A journey to the moon would be as far as going round the earth 10 times or traveling for 100 ye- days in an aeroplane without stopping now dear going guns answer the following questions what does the passage say complete each of the following sentences by choosing one of the alternatives given question number first the great bear is sometimes also called a the plow b the pointers c the pole star question number second the great bear is important because A the moon goes around it B it helps us find the north star C it is brighter than the other stars Question number 3 the north star is useful to travelers A because it helps major distances B because its bright light helps them to see clearly C because it helps them find the direction at night Question number 4 when the moon is full a the stars are very full b the stars are not clearly seen 
See, the stars cannot be seen. Question number fifth. When the moon is waning, A. It is becoming larger day by day. B. It is changing from full moon to old moon. C. It is changing into a crescent shape. Now, dear going cons, if you are not able to answer the comprehension, listen to the audio again, watch the video and try to solve it. Thank you for listening to me.